Good morning everybody here from the Magic Kingdom in Walt Disney World. A very early and busy morning indeed. It is 8.30 a.m. and we just arrived here. The Magic Kingdom will be opening at 9 today and it's a very special day. It's the final day of Splash Mountain's operation here at Walt Disney World Resort. So we're going to be trying to see how many times we can get on the ride. We'll see how long the wait gets today. We'll see some of the fans and their reactions to the ride closing. So let's head inside. For over 30 years, Splash Mountain has been a staple attraction of Disneyland, Walt Disney World, and even the Tokyo Disney Disneyland Resort in Japan. The attraction was originally based on the long-forgotten 1946 Disney film Song of the South, which itself was based on various collections of American folklore, specifically from the American South. While the film was a success and even led to James Baskett, who played the main character, Uncle Remus, becoming the first African-American man to ever take home an Oscar, both the movie and the ride itself have been the subject of controversy for many years now. And amidst this, Disney has decided to close the attraction for good. That brings us to today, January 22nd, where tens of thousands of fans are flocking here to the Magic Kingdom to say farewell to their favorite ride, some even coming from across the globe. I flew here from Germany. I arrived yesterday and I'm going back tomorrow. Why am I here? To say goodbye to Splash Mountain. It's my favorite ride. Some fans have made it their quest to be the first on the ride. Others would rather be the last. Some fans want to ride it as many times as possible before the end of the day. But amidst the sadness of the ride's closure, they're still staying optimistic. So let's have a great day. All right, so we are waiting. Early entry is going on, but since we're not staying in a resort, we just have to wait for the regular park opening. We are over in front of the Adventureland Bridge, and what I'm about to show you is kind of crazy. This is the crowd. As of now, just to walk across the Adventureland Bridge into the Splash Mountain area. We're probably going to head on over to the Liberty Square Bridge to get into Frontierland that way. It looks like there's a little bit less people over there, but for now, I mean, there's already massive crowds lining up. We encourage you to make your way to Cinderella Castle for a very special presentation. Okay, the gates are open, the rope is dropped, here we go. Oh my gosh, they're running from Fantasyland too. This is like the running of the bulls. There are three lands converging right now, Liberty Square, Adventureland and Fantasyland are all pouring into Frontierland at the same time. Both sides of Frontierland are full. All right. Here we are. We're almost at the front. Oh, this is just for Thunder Mountain. Oh, this is Thunder Mountain only. Everybody. Splash Mountain's got to continue over the main bridge. All right, so we're pretty packed in tight here on the bridge. They started opening the other side for the walkway, and everybody who's in the queue is kind of packed on the left side of the bridge. We haven't seen anybody come over the mountain yet, but we're hoping to start seeing people coming soon, because then we'll know that the line is moving. There we go, this is the first guest of the day. All right, so as of now, the queue's been open for about 15 minutes, and it says it already has a 70 minute wait. We are lined up back here just up the hill from the attraction entrance. We got in line right at nine o'clock, so we'll see how long it actually takes us to get to the front. And it just jumped to 90 minutes already. So we are about halfway through the outdoor queue now. We're making a, a good way in. We have been waiting about 42 minutes, and it says right now it's about an hour and 45 minute wait, or 145 minute wait, I apologize. So about two hours and 25 minutes. I don't think we're gonna wait that long. It only said 70 or 90 when we stepped underneath. But the line is all the way through Frontierland. As you can see, it's totally full inside. We're just about to head upstairs. All right, here we all are. We are inside the interior queue now, making our way down to the logs. We've waited exactly one hour, and it looks like it's only gonna be about another 15 to 20 minutes. We'll see. incline and we are currently stuck at least we have the stairs right there 
I've heard that they've had some technical difficulties uh, in the past couple days. We were hoping to avoid that today if we could. What do you think, Summer? I don't know. <laughs> I guess the waterfall at the end is one thing we agree we won't miss. <laughs> It's the 
So this is just the line for the pressed penny machine here in the gift shop. Just people wanting to get the Splash Mountain penny. So we just got off our first ride of Splash Mountain of the day and the wait is up to 160 minutes. It's twice the wait time of Flight of Passage right now. We're hopefully gonna get back in line. We're not sure exactly what we're gonna do throughout the day. We wanna try to ride it as many times as we can, but it was absolutely amazing. We did notice that there were a lot of effects that were kinda missing, animatronics, water effects, things like that, that I guess they just kinda, they haven't wanted to repair because they knew the ride was going to be closing soon, but you can still enjoy the show and all the characters and everything like that, and it's a great experience no matter what. All right, so we are actually heading up for a different view of Splash Mountain. We're going to be riding the train here from the Frontierland Station. This is my first time in the Frontierland Station since the train reopened. We did do a train reopening video about two weeks ago when we first rode it through the Tron Tunnel and everything like that. But as you can see, it's relatively empty up here, so we should have no problem getting on the train. For our next stop, Fantasyland. They were carrying on the main street, USA. So we just got off the train and we got to have one amazing last look at Splash Mountain from the train. You can see that zippity doo scene at the end. We also noticed on the app while we were riding that the wait time hit 200 minutes. And so now we're in front of the attraction. We're going to find out if that's true or not. Oh, it is 200 minutes. That means the wait right now is three hours and 20 minutes to get on Splash Mountain. So we're here outside of Pecos Bills right behind me and this is where the line is starting to get on Splash Mountain. After hopping off the train and seeing that it was a three and a half hour wait to get on Splash Mountain, we decided we needed a break to get lunch before we got back into a line like that. And so we stopped over here at Sleepy Hollow Refreshments, our favorite. And we got the chicken and waffles with the house made chips. This is probably my favorite quick service meal in the entire park. Well, folks, we decided to only ride it one time today because of how long the wait was, but we did get some amazing views around the park, as you can see over my shoulder from the steamboat and also earlier when we were on the steam train. But as you can see, the sun is setting on Chickapin Hill and Splash Mountain forever. So I hope you folks enjoyed this look at the mountain. I hope you got a chance to ride it before it closed today, and also it'll be open in Disneyland for a few more months. But thanks again for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.